the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. My unboxing, first look, after my intro. Mm. Welcome everyone, I'm Texilla, I'm back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing and taking a first look at this beast. This is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. Now that is a mouthful. Now, before I go any further, let me tell you some facts about this phone. I have got the 512 gig storage model with 16 gigabytes of RAM with the Exynos 990 chipset, not the Snapdragon like most other reviewers, and most other reviewers have got the 12 gigs of RAM model, I've got the 16 gig, and this one's also dual SIM. So there's a little bit something different here for you guys. Now it's a little bit of a confession time. I have been using the device. So when I take the lid off, it's gonna be switched on. And I'll explain that later in the video, but just bear with me for now. Okay classic Samsung packaging okay nothing to write home about here I've got the cosmic gray variant so let's take this less before we do this in usual fashion three two one woo woo styling and profiling Ric Flair style I always do that when I'm unboxing a Samsung so three, two, one, bingo, bongo, dongo. And here we have the phone. Now it's already switched on, as I said. Let me take out the box, hold on. Put it to one side. Now, before I go any further, as usual, there's a little box hidden in the top here. And usually I end up destroying it by tearing it open from here. But I've learned my lesson. There's a SIM ejection tool and it opens from here. Now, I'll show you what we get in here. There is no case in here for any of you wondering, not in the UK one anyway. And in the box, we've got the quick start guide and the warranty card. Nothing too exciting there. And here, take that card off nothing there just says samsung so nothing major we've got the 25 watt charging brick uk version so if you've got the 45 watt charger probably no need because it's been proven they charge at the same sort of speed you've got the usb type c charging cable i've got to put this to the test i haven't used it yet and I should have taken that out actually. We've got the AKG earbuds with the braided cable. Very nice looking. Don't need to take them out. As you can see, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but all glass phones are. But look at the huge bump on that back. That camera hump is a massive, massive beast. I'm not going to get into too much tech specs when it comes to the camera, that would be a separate video. But I like this over the black version. I wish they'd had this in more colours, but it is what it is. Now at the top, we've got the SIM ejection tool, uh, SIM ejection tool, SIM ejection tray right there. Right there, microphone. On this side, we've got the power button and volume rockers. On the bottom, the usual. You've got a speaker, charging port, microphone, and on this side, nothing. Bring it to focus, there we go. There is no Bixby button. But just look at that bump, man. Jesus Christ, that is a big, 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 <laughs> massive camera hump. Hey, you get used to it, believe me, I'll be rocking a case on it. Now, as you can see, it's already set up. I did save time. Now I've got, it's not going to detect my face because I'm away from the camera. So if I, let me try and get my face to get it to check my face. It's a bit difficult, the angle I'm in. Nope. There we go. You can see the fingerprint sensor is not too bad. 
A little bit sluggish, a little bit, but it's not too bad overall. See, it's a lot better than my Note 10. Now, obviously, this is a 6.9 inch screen, so nearly, nearly 7 inch beast, this thing. The screen on this, it's got the 120 hertz refresh rate, but you can't use it with the... Actually, you know what? Let's go into settings. Let's go into settings. Okay. Display. Now I've got adaptive brightness switched off because I'm filming. I don't want the light, the balance and everything of the light to go up and down in the video. Uh, adaptive brightness I got switched off for that reason. So you've got 120 hertz refresh rate or 60 hertz. You can't use 120 hertz with Quad HD Plus resolution. So bring that in here. So you, at the moment, I've got 120 hertz refresh rate on Full HD Plus, not WQHD Plus. So you have to decide, do you want a smoother refresh rate when you're using the device? Or do you want the full resolution? It's unfortunate, it's one of those things I've been using it on the 120 hertz because I'm testing the battery. That's why this phone has been left switched on because I didn't want to reset these. Now this is the stats, okay? Bearing in mind, I have been setting up the phone and stuff like that. See if I can get into focus. Is it focused? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. I've used nearly, nearly four hours of screen on time. Nearly four hours of screen on time. And I've got 50% battery left. And it's been off charge for over seven hours. So at that rate, and remember, it's still learning my pattern, my usage pattern. Okay. So at that rate, we're looking at, let's say, nearly, let's say about 14 to 15 hours off charge with near enough eight hours of screen on time. That is not bad on the first charging cycle. A lot of people going, oh, it's trash. The Exynos version's not got great battery life. Well, usually at the beginning it's poor. So if this is what's considered poor, it'll only get better. Now I did get an update out of the box. I'm running on the March security patch. So very, 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 very nice experience so far, okay? so far let me i tell you what let me bring in a device and take a photograph okay bear with me now i'm going to take a photograph now can you see that sort of pulsing a little bit of pulsing with the focus there's a little bit of it going on there I mean, it's not bad, like massively bad. It's not a deal breaker, but look at the picture quality. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's see. Look at the detail there. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this new Oppo Beast that's on the table, I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can check that out. So you've got this single take. Oh, let's go into here. Single take. Allow. Allow. Basically, single take where your camera automatically captures a wide variety of pics and clips from any scene. Now, I'm not going to go into that now, but you obviously got photo, you got video, you got more. Now, as you can see in the more section, you got pro, panorama, food, night, live focus, live focus video, pro video, super slow mo, slow motion, hyperlapse. Now, I say I'm not going to get into this too much because this is just an unboxing. I have uploaded a few pictures to my Twitter and Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I suggest go into the description. You'll see the links to both my Instagram, Facebook and uh, Twitter. F hit those links, follow me on those channels because I do upload photos, video clips, etc. that you don't see on this channel. I was testing out the 100 times zoom, pretty solid in my honest opinion, pretty solid. Not brilliant, but then I didn't expect it to be super, 
you know what I mean? I didn't expect it to be super clear 100 times zoom. So let's have a look in here. Now, as I said, this is a dual SIM version. So I can have an eSIM and a uh, nano SIM and a memory card, or I can have two nano SIMs and no memory card. So it, that's pretty decent. Okay, you get voice over LTE. I'm not going to go into it because it'll show you my phone number, etc. I've got Wi Fi and mobile data switched off at the moment because obviously I don't want to be disturbed during this video. Oh, see, I'm getting texts and stuff coming through. It doesn't matter. Sounds and vibrations, notifications, display, wallpaper, themes. Let's see, let's go to wallpaper. Uh, my wallpapers. Let's have a look at what wallpapers we've got. This is a different, you could tell I haven't really looked into this too much yet because I'm still using the one that came out the box on the phone already. And you can apply dark mode to wallpaper. Okay. Come out of this. Face unlock, fingerprint sensor, pin, etc. They're all there, the usual, the usual culprits. Uh, advanced features. So, side key, I won't go into that. Call and text on other devices. So if you've got other Samsung devices, you can receive call and text on those. Link to Windows, I will be doing that. Smart pop-up view, receive notifications as icons when that can be tapped and expanded in pop-up view. Now, I haven't used that yet. Screenshots and screen recorder, direct share, reduce animations, tone down, motion effects on the screen, such as when apps are open or closed. Now I'm wondering how well does that work with 120 Hertz? I might switch that off and see how it works with the 120 Hertz. You've got dual messenger, video enhancer. I'm not gonna get into this too much because the video will go on forever. And you know me guys, I can talk forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> so last update. That was the last update that came out the box. So improved performance of the camera. The security of your device has been improved. So it's on the March security patch. Nothing much else there. There is another software update that Samsung have released in Korea that's coming to all of these devices to improve the cameras. Now I'm not experiencing the overly beautified face shots that some other people are experiencing. I'm just not getting that. So I don't know if I'm lucky or if that update fixed that particular thing. But, you know, what can I say? Now, let me just bring this close to my mic. Okay, listen to this. Now I'm shaking the camera, or oh, sorry, I'm shaking the phone next to my mic. There's a rattling sound. A few people have said on Twitter, oh, my phone's, I think it's broken, it's got rattling. Samsung said that's just the camera module that's rattling in here. Okay, it shouldn't do, but it does. Probably because it's a new type of tech, so who knows. Now, apparently if you switch the camera on, okay, let me go to switching the camera on, the magnets engage and it stops that noise. Now let me try again. Yep, totally silent. So that, there's proof right there, it's the, it's the camera that's making that noise. So when it's not on, the magnets are disengaged and the little slider or whatever it is in this periscope type 100 times zoom module here, that moves about half an inch, okay, back and forwards. That's what that rattling sound is. So don't get worried and think, ooh, what, you know, it's broken, it's not, it's normal. Now, some of you know, I also got the Z Flip. I'm actually running both devices as my main devices. I've got two numbers. Now, I'm not gonna get into this too much, but let's bring in the Z Flip here. That's the Z Flip next to the S20 Ultra. Big difference, big difference. So, so far, so good, okay? If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Leave those questions there, I'll do my best to answer them. 
anything you want me to do in a video for this, I've got loads of cases, I've got screen protectors. I mean, I've got ton load, tons and tons being sent to me. This is the first one I've been using. Move this out the way. This one, the official protective standing cover. Always get this for every Samsung device. I'll be reviewing this soon. I've got all the UAG cases. I've got the Whitestone Dome. I've got the Spigans. I've got the Caseologies. I've got the eye basins. I've got the sub cases. Tons, tons. So you want to hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon, believe me. Obviously, I'm rocking my Galaxy Watch. It's paired up with this beast. So, so far, so good. There are a couple of teething problems. I'm not going to make excuses for Samsung or anyone, but they'll get fixed. I'm pretty sure of it. What do you guys think? Did you order this? Which, If you did, which color did you go for? Black or the Cosmic Gray? Are you in the US? Did you get a Snapdragon version or the Exynos version? Let me know in the comments below. And any questions you have, hit me up. I don't mind answering. I'm one of the few YouTubers that actually reads my comments and replies to. Anyway, guys, this is Techzilla saying thank you for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. No thumbs down. You heard me. No thumbs down. Share this on all your social media. Smash that subscribe button, as I said, and the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on my case videos, my follow-up videos to this. Look at that fingerprints. Drive me nuts. I need to get off camera and wipe this thing down and put it back in its case. Oh, there is a hole punch camera in the screen. That's where the selfie camera is. I should have said that at the beginning. And there is a pre-applied screen protector to this. Anyway, that's long enough. I've been blasting on. Until next time. Take care and peace.